Wait, see that cat there? That's Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. <sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Hey! You've got a pretty good memory! That's right! Cat toys are Roger's favorite! Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately! Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Well, obviously, the cat's tail is a tavern, after all. No matter how cute these little kitties are, they're only there to compliment my cocktails. All right, let's bring along Roger and go find Nelson. Now, Nelson likes places that are warm. In fact, the last time I went looking for him, I found him in the bush next to the blacksmith. So, let's go look for him there. Me. Yep, <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. That's right, Nelson loves eating this stuff. The cat food will definitely make him happy. Hmm. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. Of course! <laughs> you should see the looks on those old drunks' faces when Nelson spills over their cocktails in the tavern! <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral before. So let's start there. Nope, he doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. My strength still feels work is all there is to the craft. Let's go, let's go! Today's recommendation 15, is 16. Safe. That's a nice haul. Where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <sighs> but enough about Paisley. 
Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait. You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. Listen, Paisley. Just be good and stay there, okay? Oh, good kitty. Hmm, that'll do. <laughs> you really are pretty cute when you're being good. Uh, hey! Why are you looking at me like that, huh? He only listens to me because I feed him all the time. That's all. For some reason, many customers actually like his personality. Once Paisley bobbles his head at them, they all start looking like they'll be willing to buy him cat food for the rest of his life. <sighs> if only we got a few more cats at the cat's tail, then I wouldn't need to spend all my time making drinks anymore. All I'd have to do is take care of the kitties and let the customers come and pet them. Well, of course! If it weren't for the money my drinks bring in, how would we pay for their toys and food? Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Yep, we found them all. Let's hurry and bring them back. Otherwise, they won't be able to work when the tavern opens tomorrow. are back, as well as our customer. Hey, I'm not one of the cats! Of course. In fact, Diona is our best bartender. Hmm. Please don't misunderstand my work as a bartender here. It's actually the first step in my plan of bringing destruction to Mondstadt's alcohol industry. You've seen the drunkards stumbling around the city, right? No matter how well-dressed or honest of a person they actually are, once they start drinking, they become terrible people. Nothing good comes of alcohol. It makes people foolish, lazy, and ugly. That's why I plan on making the most disgusting drink there ever was. Everyone will realize how terrible alcohol really is. That way, Mondstadt will finally be rid of alcohol and freed from its snarling teeth. Of course, and that's why I became a bartender in the first place. I must understand anything and everything there is to know about alcohol. This is the first step in my plan. What? Well, I... I'm still experimenting! You know, it's more difficult than you think to make the most disgusting drink the city has ever tasted. Anyway, I'll find a way to make my diabolical cocktail and keep everyone away from alcohol. <laughs> Although I haven't discovered how yet, but I will. Anyway, didn't you come all this way to just see the cat? Now that all three of them are back in the tavern, why don't you go inside and play with them? Oh, and, and in return for all your help, I'll make a special drink just for you. Not alcoholic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 